In this tutorial, we will learn how to express piping details in Clo 3D. First, we will need to load the garment that will incorporate piping details. Since it is a men's garment, we will need to use the male avatar. From the default list of folders within the library, click on the avatar folder and select one of the male avatars. Now we can load the garment. Navigate to File in the main menu, then open and select Garment. Locate the Clo 3D Practice folder and open the Express Piping subfolder. Load the Training Pants ZPack file. Now we are going to create the piping patterns that will be attached to this garment. The piping patterns will attach to the perimeter of these patterns here. However, before we do, we will need to confirm the length for the piping. Select the Edit Pattern tool. With the Edit Pattern tool, select the side panel. Piping will not be attached to the waistband, so this segment will need to be deselected. Hold down the Shift key and click on the segment to deselect it. Note the total line length of the remaining segments in the Property Editor. With this information, we are ready to create the piping pattern. Select the Rectangle tool from the 2D toolbar. Within an empty space of the 2D environment, click once. In the Create Rectangle pop-up window, input the line length value we just confirmed for width and input 10 millimeters for the height. Press OK. Now let's sew this pattern to the garment. Select the Free Sewing tool. Start the sewing segment at this point of the short, then drag the cursor down and around the pattern and complete it on its opposite side. This point here corresponds to this point on the piping pattern. Start the sewing line at this point and complete the seam line pair at the other end of the piping pattern. Click on the sync button to reflect these changes in the 3D environment. In this state, let's activate simulation. However, before we simulate, since the garment is complete aside from the piping, we are going to freeze the garment to maintain its current shape. First, we will need to select the patterns that the freeze function will be applied to. Switch to the Transform Pattern tool. Press Ctrl A to select all the patterns, then hold the Shift key and click on the piping pattern to deselect it. In the 3D garment window, right click on the selected patterns and select Freeze from the pop-up menu. Now, we will need to arrange the piping pattern in the 3D environment for proper simulation. Press the 2 key to return to the default front camera view. Drag the pattern down, centering it along the short, then click on the pattern to access the gizmo tool. Use the green circular axis to rotate the pattern. Next, Press the 6 key to switch the camera view to the avatar's left side. Drag the pattern and arrange it at the center of the short. Activate Simulation The top and bottom of the piping pattern will need to be sewn together and folding this pattern in half will make it easier. We will need to create an internal line along the center of the piping pattern. Furthermore, for exact placement, we are going to add points along the sides of the pattern. Select the Add Point Split Line tool from the 2D toolbar. Place the cursor over a side segment of the pattern and right click. Select the Uniform Split option in the Split Line window and input a value of 2 to divide the segment in 2. Press OK and a center point will appear on the segment. This point will be used as a guide to draw the internal line. Switch to the Internal Polygon Line tool. Click on the point that was just created and drag the cursor to the other side. For proper alignment on the other side of the pattern, hold down the Shift key, then double-click on the opposite side segment of the pattern to complete the internal line. Next, we are going to adjust the fold angle of the internal line. Since the face of the pattern will need to be visible when folded, the fold angle will need to be set to 0 degrees. Activate Simulation to fold the pattern. To achieve a crisp fold, 
right click on the piping pattern in the 3D environment and select Strengthen from the pop up menu. Activate simulation once more, then turn it off and unstrengthen the pattern piece. Now that the pattern is folded nicely, it can be secured with sewing lines. Select the segment sewing tool and sew the top and bottom up segments of the piping pattern together. If the garment is simulated in this state, the pattern can become twisted as shown on the screen. Therefore, before we activate simulation, the particle distance value will need to be lowered. It is recommended to reduce the particle distance value to 3 for thin pattern pieces. With the Edit Pattern tool, select the piping pattern and adjust the particle distance to 3. Furthermore, to give the piping a round shape instead of its current flat shape, the internal line will need to be deleted. The internal line will need to be deleted before simulation is activated so that it drapes nicely. Select the internal line of the piping pattern and press the delete key. Activate simulation. The piping pattern has been attached successfully. Finally, unfreeze the short patterns before activating simulation once more to achieve a natural look.